All right, guys, the fastest video in East Tennessee ever made. We're going to make sausage balls for you tonight. Thanksgiving's coming up. The holidays are coming up. Christmas is coming up. New Year's, you're going to all of these events and office parties and church events and yada, yada, yada. You got to have something awesome to take. You're going to take sausage balls. So here's what you're going to do. It's this simple. You need to get three ingredients to make the most wonderful appetizer for the holidays. One pound of sausage. Pick your own. I don't care. This is our personal sausage. This is from one of our sows we had uh, uh, butchered back in August that, was, uh, that we're going to be using tonight. You can go to, to the store and pick you up a pound of, pick up a pound of two of Tennessee pride. Okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to need about a cup of Bisquick. You can hear my oven's preheating. Yeah, it's heaping a little bit, but don't sweat that. And then you're going to use a cup of shredded cheese. You can use any cup of shredded cheese you want. You can make it pepper jack. You can make it Colby jack. You can make it cheddar. I usually use a, like a straight blend like this or just plain cheddar. You can shred it yourself or you can buy it shredded. All you're going to do is mix this with this and this in this. Now, let me tell you, you've got to keep working it, okay? Uh, you'll start to see that you'll have to really work in the dry ingredients, uh, being that of the Bisquick and your cheddar cheese, your, your, your shredded cheese, in with the meat. You may have to adjust it a little bit, okay? It, it's always a little bit different, but your standard recipe are these three ingredients. All you're going to do is bring them on over to your pan. I've got a large uh, half a cake sheet here that I use. It's stainless, but I like to put aluminum foil on it. And I spray it just a little bit with coconut, um, coconut oil spray from Trader Joe's, and we're going to bake it. Have your oven preheating over there at 400. So I'm going to start mixing this up. I'm going to show you what these look like. We're going to pop them in the oven. They do not last. So let me tell you one more thing. Don't buy one pack of sausage. Buy at least two, if not three because you're gonna find out just how good these are. Let's get mixing. All right, guys, when you start mixing, you can start out with a fork if you just wanna do it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna to have to get your hand, wash your hands and get them down in there and just start mixing it up. There's really no other way around it, in my opinion. When, once you get done mixing it up thoroughly, then you're gonna make about two inch or so, uh, like cookie dough balls, just little, just little sausage balls, okay? That's all you're gonna do, let's get going. Just got to keep mixing it over. It makes a little bit of a mess. That's okay. And you got to turn the meat out. Okay. Okay. Just keep blending it. First, you'll think it's too dry. Then you're worried it's, you know, it's, is it too wet? And then all of a sudden, it starts blending really, really good. So just keep working it. And if you have to add a little bit more flour, uh, Bisquick, or if you have to add a little bit more cheese, or maybe just a hair of water just to wet it, don't fret it. Just do it. All right, guys, this is what we're looking like. Just a few minutes of mixing, no big deal. And let me show you what I did. Up here at the top, I showed you where I uh, took a pinch off and, and rolled the balls, and I try to make them all as even as possible. I like that. I think it looks good. You don't have to. They can be bigger, smaller, whatever. But I want to recommend this. You've seen this before in other videos and even on my blog. Or if I've made cookies, this is the OXO Good Grips Cookie Scoop. I got it off Amazon. I've had this thing since before I moved up here. I use it every year, especially during the holidays or when it's time to make cookies. And I used it over here, so it's about a, a one and a half inch plus right there on the scoop. And I just kind of pushed it in there and then just plopped them on out. Perfect sausage balls all the way. So we're gonna put these in the oven. So I'm gonna put the link below for this. I think it's like $13 on Amazon. It, it, it even qualifies for Prime. So just letting you know, it's very handy dandy if you make a lot of cookies and you like for them to be cutie tootie. Guys, that's a great gift right there. So I'm gonna put these over in the oven at 400. Keep an eye on them. You want them a little crispy. You'll see them baking up um, somewhere around 20 to 25 minutes. So. My boys are waiting. Let's get them cooking. Looking good. Look at all that. So one pound is making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, around 27, 28, because I'm one short. Uh, so you're looking at uh, a good little mix here. So that's why I'm saying if you're taking it to a big event, you might want to get two pounds. All right, let's get them baking. Okay. 
All right, guys, I've already taken them out. And I've already separated two for me on a cute little plate over here with homemade strawberry jam. Uh-huh. So let me tell you something. It only took 20 minutes this time. That's because I'm dealing with my own pork, okay? My own meat, and it's very lean. I've told you in my uh, other videos in the food storage challenge that our sausage and the bacon is very, very lean for what it is, especially the sausage. So this is what it is. This is how they're going to turn out, and boy, they're hot. And I'm telling you, if you've never had this before, which who has not, they are to die for, and everybody's going to love them. I also recommend taking them, you know, if you take it to somebody's house for the holidays, make sure you take them some strawberry jam. Because every time I show up, you know, to somebody's house, especially my dad, he's like, well, if you're going to come and you're going to bring sausage balls, you better bring uh, some of that strawberry jam, too. He always makes sure that he gets for the holidays is strawberry jam too. So, guys, this is how you make them. They're wonderful. I promise. Make a double batch. We'll talk to you soon. Take care out there. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. My kids are lined up. Go figure. Y'all have a great night.